الفقراء البنيه بتطلع حليب شوكولاته Why we thought it was a good idea to cook for them. Could have, could have. This is three fourth cups of sugar. <laughs> I heard that this is the second attempt, so I'm gonna be very honest. I'm like Keith Lee. Keith mean? Like mean the last. Me. I'm begging the magluda. Aye, wah Allah. Aye. An honest word. Cause it's up. It's definitely not cooked fully. <laughs> But it's actually really, really good. Golden Balance, you listen up. We're coming for you, buddy. Good morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are watching. Aham ishi tkunu. Zahganin. My name is Wasat Yaseen. Ma'akum Omar Barzak. And you are watching Alf Sahra wa Sahra ma'a Shabab al Asala. ASLA West Bank. كان لازم يطلع هون ولا هون؟ انا شفته طلع علي طلع علي انا طلعت بالنص طلعتنا من المود يا ابو الوص يلا لا لا بس كنت عم بتاكد انه عم عم انه اي بريس ريكورد ايماجين اي دينت بريس ريكورد طيب يلا يا جماعة the guest is on the way. The guest is on the way. And today we have a very, very, very special guest. Very special. Should we guest. tell them who the guest is? Of course. هم بيكونوا شافوا من التايتل يعني. Yes. نلمون خليها سيكو. There you know. Today's guest is Maya Hassan, and we Maya. have something very excited prepared for the Sahara that's happening tonight. The guest is actually on the way. We got to get moving quick. We're always very late. This is Arab timing. This is it's it's a part of our culture. Uh, it's a part of our show here today too. Uh, and of course, we're late. The the guest is going to be here, and uh, we're still going to be uh, getting things done. But we're going to try our best to do this. All right, let's get it started. What's today's uh, menu, uh, Mr. Barzan? Today's menu, ya jamaat al khair, pistachio cake. <laughs> pistachio lava cake. Pistachio lava cake. And I absolutely English. love lava cake. That's when you put it. Then you make it one by one. You cut it in half, and then it all starts oozing up. It's not easy, my friend. I'm خليني أبشرك حبيبي بس مش زابطة أنا بتعرف اليوم الصبح ما رحت على الشغل عشان إيش؟ كنت أتدرب على اللافا كيك زبطت معك؟ والله ما زبطتش طيب أوكي لتس لتس دو إت So the ingredients for the lava cake are actually very very easy أنا على فكرة every single item we make I say it's very very easy and it doesn't end up working out but the ingredients are very simple it actually doesn't take much All right All you need زبدة بيض سكر pistachio على فكرة Uh, 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 in, in the ingredient, there was a part where you had the, you needed the egg whites only. <laughs> We're going to skip that part of the ingredients. <laughs> and we have all our ingredients here laid right. out very yeah. nicely. Uh, okay. Shout out to our amazing uh, production manager, uh, production, Abu Farah. Ala Abu Farah Hamza. Okay. So, we got the eggs. Where do you start? In the bowl. Okay, I'm going to grab some more. Actually, why? Why do you start? Ah, here, instruction. Uh, butter and flour, your six ramekins and set aside. Yalla, yeah, huh? Bismillah. But this is what you want to do. I'll give you your hand. Why do you want to do it, man? You want to use the bread? No, like this, like this. No, I'll give you your hand, man. I'll see the bread like this. Like this? Yalla, we'll give you your hand. Why don't you? We're going to focus on the habits of our parents. So we'll work on our hands today. What do you want to do with the other time? God will let us know our parents. Oh, Allah. On the other hand, this show has made me realize how hard working our mothers are. And they do this and they make it seem so effortless. We have to call this show, Allah, let's call our mothers. Two things that we could name this show. Who is in the kitchen and Allah, let's call our mothers. And those are the two things that we continuously say. Okay. Abu Al-Barazi. Focus on me. See? Zero germs. Focus on me. You want to take a little bit of bread. Don't add a lot of bread. And just butter the ramekins. Listen, I'm going to die in the bread. So I'll cut it a little bit. Okay, let's go. Fine. While you're doing that, um, in a mixing bowl, I'm going to add sugar and eggs. And I'm going to mix that in the bowl. It's Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the scale is the guest of the show today. Ah, صراحة. And the scale. طيب خلينا نشوف كم من بيضة بدنا. It doesn't say how many eggs. أقولك نعملهم كلهم. خليني بحالي أنا أنا مشغول شوي. طيب إيش عملت اليوم أبو البرازة؟ والله يا معلم اليوم بتعرف أنت هموم الدنيا الأولاد والمرة. أنت دائما بهموم. أنا دائما آه أنا الأولاد نزلتهم على المدارس وظليت ماشي. لا والله. عندي سؤال. تفضل. أقولك ما يحسن حتحبها هاي ولا لا؟ هو الصراحة أنا يعني I don't know when we came up with the idea for the show why we thought it was a good idea to cook for them. We could have had a show where we get food from outside وبنعزمهم. بدنا نكرهم فينا شوي. انا عارف بس يعني 
ابو البراز طيب تفتح بيض دقيقه نحطها برضه على ارضه ولا بس على الحصان انت اللي سالتك اول وحده اه خلاص مش اللي لمه الله بس حاسس ما فيش كثير يا زلمه لا انت يعني ذس از جوست سو دازنت ستيك على فكره اه بس هيك اي ثينك يو ار ا بيت تو ماتش انا فكرت هي جزء من الريسيبي خليها على الله هاي الاولى خالصه اني وايز كبير اه نو والله الصراحه مايا حسين يعني از ا جيست ذات اي بن اكسايتد فور فور ا فيري لونج تايم يا جماعه ذس دازنت لوك لايك 3 4 ذس ا كب اوف اوف شوجر كل هاد كل هاد ذس از 3 4 كبس اوف شوجر يعني تقريبا نص طن زبده بس دقيقه او طن ونص سكر مين مين ما بيحب السكر يعني لا بس يعني هاي زودناها كاز دوس دوس جد تحكي دوس دوس يا شو يا جماعه يعني this entire bowl is full of sugar this seems a little bit uh, انت خليها على الله the third uh, title of the show خليها على الله توكل على الله bro this oh bro this is too much حطه حطه بالله تحطه oh, this is so much ما هو المشكله عارف ليش؟ you know why because اه 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 انه يمكن هاي على فكره لا يمكن 10 من هدول لا لسته متاكد؟ مش عارف يا زلمه طيب على فكرة اوكي ذس از سيمينج تو سمول خلينا بسم right. الله يا زلمة البيض مقرف انا اي هاف فوبيا فروم ايجز بس اني ويز يعني راح احطها كلها وان شاء الله خير حاس حالي بدهن فيكس نزكم هيك نقرب شوي قلت لي اليوم كنت مهموم ها انا كل يوم مهموم انت كل يوم مهموم كل يوم مو بالدنيا كتران طيب ابو البرازه انا عندي سؤال لك يعني واتس ا فيري امبورتنت كويشن تفضل انت راح نفرح فيك هذا السؤال للحلقه الجايه <تصفيق> المشكله يا زلمه كل ما حدا بيسالني هذا السؤال بعدين بحكي مع عالم متجوزين بيقولوا لي ما تتجوز <تصفيق> لا بس ايش اهم شيء بيقولوا لك ما تقول لمرتي اه <تصفيق> لا لا هذا هذا هاي الكونفرسيشن مش قدام مرته قدام مرته بقول لك لا حبيبي تجوز احلى شيء بالحياه تجوز كمل مصدينك بعدين بدون مرته بقول لك انسى الموضوع ولا تفكر فيه انا عارف في الارم يا جماعه حدا حدا نايم على السكت تليفونك بيرن يا عمي وتليفونك بيرن بس لا جد يا انت يا انت بتفكر هيك مقرف اه شوي صراحه انا عارف احنا على فكره مش شغل مطابخ يا ابو البرازه تاكد لي بس ذا اوفن از 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 احنا عندنا مشكله على فكره مع الفرن ليش دائما يا اوفر كوك اور اندر كوك كيف اعرف انا انه جاهز؟ حبيبي انت بس خليها على الله. وين؟ والله خلينا هون، على فكرة الاستوديو بارد وهون مدفى. خليك هون. طيب ذا ذا ستوديو ذا 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 اوفن از سيت اب 400 ديجريز، اتس بيننا بري هيتنج عشان احنا وي ار فيري واتس ذا وورد؟ برودنت. طبعا لا. برودنت يعني احنا وي ار اهيد اوف ذا جيم. اوكي يلا. فيري ميتيكيولس. اوكي نكست. يلا اوكي. ابو البرازة عندي مهمة كثير مهمة لك. طب الزبدة احنا على اي اساس حطينا كل هذا؟ مش عارف خلينا نشوف اد يور باتر اند اوه هو ده طيب يا كبير وات اي نيد يو تو دو اه از ان هير ولا اكشلي بجيب لك وحدة اكبر عشان ندلعك اه سناك سناك على الخفيف يا جماعة وات يو نيد تو دو ان ا بول اوكي سو وي هاف ذا شوجر ذا فلاور اند ذا ايجز ان ون بول حلو اوكي اند ذن ان ا سيبريت بول يو وانت جراب يور بستاشيو حلو بدنا معلقة بس 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 ولا بأصبعي كمان <تصفيق> لا لا جيب معلقة آه على فكرة احنا حاطين الانستركشنز هون مبينين بالكاميرا هلا رح يفكرونها باين وي دونت نيد انستركشنز جايز وي نو ذس اوف ذا توب اوف اور هيدز اي ميك ذس افري داي ما هم اصلا في في ذا كوكينج شوز ذي فولو ا سيرتن ريسيبي بس بخبوها منا بالضبط احنا احنا على بلاطة يعني بدناش نكذب عليكم <تصفيق> بالاخر طيب اوكي يو جاب بيستاشيو اه ود اكشلي اقول لك ايش نعمل بالاول نحط الشوكولاته لا هيك مش حنقرش اه شاي تنقرش يلا مع الزبده اظن فوق بعض قبل ما تحط خليك بس طيب يا كبير وين هاي الانستراكشنز اوكي طيب نتقهوه واحنا قاعدين لا عليك حتى يقهوينا قهوينا يا قهوتنا للاجواد اول بعد يا اللي نار وقاتي في ظلام اورايت طيب بتحط ان انذر بول يو وانت بوت يور تشوكليت لا انه يعني بهاي البول يو وانت بوت يور تشوكليت اند يور باتر اند بيستاشيو اند بيستاشيو يعني ندوس ندوس او يو ار جونا بوت ات ان ذا هول 11 وات ايفر ذا هول تان اند هاف حلو الله عليك الله عليك الله عليك يا جماعه انتم شايفين كيف بضيف شايفين ايد اليمين يا جماعه بدي اشرح لكم انا شغلة البرودوسر 
كل شيء يعني تصميم الجو هو بنى الاستوديو على فكره هو بنى الكيتشن كلها البرودوسر حبيبنا الله يخلي لنا اياه ركزوا لي اي والله بس انتم ركزوا لي هون كمان الـ الـ يعني كيف بقدم القهوه باليمين بصب اليسار خلينا ندوقها طب مين مين اخترع هاي العادات والتقاليد؟ ما انت يسراوي انت بتصب اليسار ولا ولا بتضيع ولا بتقدم باليسار سكر سكر الموضوع خلص نغير الموضوع اني ويز بتحطوا الموضوع هذا انا اي سي بيكنج باودر اون ذا سايد وبيكنج صودا حطوا لنا اياهم هون بس اي دونت نو وات ذير يوز فور البرازة الوضع صعب شوي شوي صراحة اسمع كي انت قولك لما امهاتنا يطبخوا بيطلعوا على الانستراكشنز لا يا زلمة عارف امهاتنا ايش بيسووا؟ هون الانستراكشنز يا كبير ايه؟ ايش بيصير بالضبط؟ في شيء بالاستوديو محروق؟ شو مترضيك؟ ممتاز في شيء عم يتحرق بالاستوديو يا جماعة دقيقة كملت يا معلم هذا هذا الارم كاربون مونوكسيد انا بقول نكمل الحلقه وراح يا جماعه راح نموت طمني حبيبنا حمزه يلا خليها على الله على فكره اي دونت لايك ذس هلا لما ينخرط بعجبك بدنا بعد بيستاشيو جيب طيب وين حطينا البيستاشيو؟ بالتحت بالخزانه تحت اسال البرودوسر على السريع انا انا على فكره ما بعرف اذا امهاتهم اذا امهاتكم يا حمزه شوف ان الموضوع معلم حمزه الكربون مونوكسيد الاستوديو انحرق ما بعرف اذا امهاتكم نفس الشيء بس مم. يعني دائما هيك يو اوبن ذس هاي اللي تحت المجله ديسكفرد اللي تحت المجله هاي بيكون فيها كل شيء كل شيء بالحياه بيكون هون انا اذا بدك تنظف بدك اكل جاربج باج بدك الانجريدينتس كلها بتكون موجوده فيه انا اذا اي شيء بالبيت مش بلاقيه بفتح اظن خزائن بتكون هون على طول يا جماعه هذا شيء هذا اختراع رهيب ويعني صراحه اللي اخترعه بدي ابوسه عبوسه ايش ايش قول لك تحط؟ ايش بدك تحط وين؟ بتطير اشياء قاعد علي انت <تصفيق> شكرا جزيلا شوف ليش مش عم ينزل؟ شوف شوف لا ايش <تصفيق> بتحكي؟ يا حبيبي الحسها ايش رايك؟ خلص بنقول للبرودوسر يجيب لك بعد وحده لا بس هذا اه انت من هاي النوعيه؟ واقف خلص على السريع يعني احنا على العموم خربنا المجرمنت بس الصراحه هيك اذكى يا جماعه يعني انا هيك بقول اي دونت نو الله العلي بنشوف ايش بنعمل يا كبير بنحط هاي المعموعه هون اللي اخترعناها نحط البتاع فين؟ في الميكروويف صح ولا غلط؟ صح خلينا نركز انا نفسي اعرف يا جماعه ليش عندنا العادات والتقاليد انه المراه العربيه لازم هي اللي تعرف تطبخ اكثر من الرجال صح شوفوا يعني أنا. عن جد يعني شوفوا الشباب احنا ها. انا شايفين يا جماعه احنا جايين نحاول نغير العقليه هاي اللي ما حتتغير <تصفيق> احنا بروجريسيف <تصفيق> لانه انا صراحه لما اتزوج مش حشوف المصبح طيب والله فرجيني كيف كيف ضويناها هذا اخر مره ايوه حط كويك ستاب كويك ستاب كويك ستاب كويك ستاب فيش حط فيش توكل على الله ما شاء الله عليك خبره خبرة يا ابو البرازة طيب ما اسكا يا زلمة وي ار دوينغ ذس وين راحت هذيك؟ هاي اللي بتخلط؟ اه اكيد ضيعتها لا يا زلمة قولوا غير هات انا بدي اخلط انت بدك تخلط بس بدنا يعني اخلط لنا صح خلطة هيك اخر مرة فرجيت الابسود لابو فارا قال لي ما اخلط وين بيخلط هيك يا زلمة؟ اول شيء حكى انا ما حكيتش شيء ها شوف وين الابرون صحيح؟ مش قلت لي حتجيب لي ابرون؟ خليها على الله بدنا بعد بدنا بعد شوي بدنا بعد شوي كويك 30 ابو البراز انت اول افرجيك افرجيك ايش اللي انت عم تعمله برو ما بنقط روح روح لا ما انت كيف لازم انا مش مقتنع كثير يا شباب في شيء غلط ها <تصفيق> اظن عملنا شيء غلط والله على فكره في شيء غلط لازم هيك يكون متاكد <تصفيق> البرودوسر بيقول لك اسرع <تصفيق> لا هلا ارجع عشان ايش؟ نغير الكرت تغير تضحك عليه احنا بنسبح لازم تضحك عليه خلينا نشوف والله فرجينا هو ايش المفروض يكون شكله؟ يعني يدوب شكله يدوب ذا لوكس ويرد مش مبين مبين اه اي ثينك عارف ايش صار الزبده الزبده دابت 
بس الفستق لسه ما دبش ايش الزبده مش حطينا زبده فوقه لا يعني تعرف لما تحكي لواحد اه طيب ايش الزبده اه ايش الزبده اه الزبده انه خلص توكل على الله فكره الجلي اليوم ازنخ من هيك ما في مين اجى يا جماعه يا جماعه في حدا فات على الاستوديو مش عارفين مين هو يا جماعه والله في حدا فات ايه اهلا وسهلا يا جطيف اهلا 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 هلا بالضيف هلا لا بلد ثاني علاء بي طلع لي مايه بالله على الكاميرا اهلا وسهلا ضيف الحلقه اجى يا جماعه اهلا وسهلا بضيف الحلقه ان يور اجين ايرا اوف تايمينج هابنز اجين اند وير ليت وير نوت دون وير نوت ريدي بس الضيف مايه بالله جو اوت سايد وكم باك لا 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 خليك خليك مايه جيف مي بلا لا لا خليك 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 بس بدي احنا رح نفرجيهم انه اجى الضيف ولا مش رح نفرجيهم؟ فرجيناهم انه اجى الضيف اجى الضيف يا جماعه فلازم سريع سريع جزء من عاداتنا وتقاليدنا يا جماعه انه لازم تكون متاخر دائما فالوجبه لسه متجهزه بتعرف ايش دائما بيحكوا؟ ايش؟ كل تاخيره فيها آه. فيها ايش؟ خيره فيها خيره؟ اه يعني طيب هيك بقولوا حنسخن شيء؟ وبدنا نسخن بعد كز <تصفيق> خلص احنا بن... هلا بنحكي لضيف الحلقه كيف تعمل لافا كيك بيستاشيو لافا كيك انيويز يا جماعه وي ميكس ذس هير وذس از يعني لوكينج ماتش بيتر ذان اي واز لوكينج 20 سكندز اجو اي ثينك سو اوكي سو واتس نيكست ستيب هو نيكست ستيب احنا ناطرين هذا قلت لي انت بدك تتجوز والله بتعرف انت داخلين على الثالثه هلا فبدي تتجوز اكثر من وحده صراحه لا ليش؟ اشرب اشرب سكر الموضوع <تصفيق> ليش يا زلمه؟ استني بثلث انت بتتزوج اكثر من وحده؟ صراحة يعني انا ما بحس رح الحق على وحده يعني والله رح على ثلاثه ما بالضبط عن جد الموضوع صعب طيب انا الصراحه مش مقتنع بس يعني لا 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 صراحة زبطة ركزوا لنا هون يا جماعة بس ركن قال لي تعال لي عند هاي اه فرجيهم ركزتوا كيف طالع الوضع؟ لا ذس اكشلي لوكس ريلي جود No, it does. It does. Smell it. هذا 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 ريحته حلو مش زي الماتشا آخر مرة. يلا يا جماعة. Okay. So last step that we need to do, you buttered these, right? I buttered these. اسمع, producer, we have baking powder here. What do we do with this? We need to, we need to use one of them. Only. One of them? So why is there two? The other one is is a game for contingency. <laughs> طيب. Okay. Uh, so one uh, teaspoon. عجبته اكثر هاي الخنتجس اوكي 1 تي سبون تيبل سبون سمثينج اوف ايش بعرفني ايش واخلطي كبير اخلطي كبير طيب وايل يو دوينج ذس قبل البرازق برودوسر ايش اسرع اقطع ركز معي تعال هون روح يمين شوي اوكي ريدي اه ام غانا هاف ذا سين ذس ذا لاست ستيب واخلط ذس ذا لاست ستيب دوس بس قديش علينا يا جماعه اللي بيقدر يعمل هيك طبيخ يحكي معاه طب اتحداك تقول خيط حرير على حيط قليل 10 مرات بسرعه قول والله وايش ايش بيطلع لي يعني بيطلع لك بيستاشيو كيك على ذوق ذوقك لا لافا كيك حتى طيب ايش هي؟ خيط حرير اه على حيط قليل حيط قليل خيط خيط حرير حرير على على حيط حيط قليل خيط حرير خيط حرير على حيط قليل عيدها خيط حرير على حيط انا فاضي شغله طيب يا جماعه فاصل ونواصل خلينا نظبط الوضع وبعدين بنقول لكم اخر شيء رح نعمله وبعدين بنكمل على الصحراء يلا يا جماعه حجه بالله تبعتي لنا الفيديو هذا على على الواتساب في بعرف جروب العيله وجروب النسوان وجروب الامهات زبطينا يعني زبطينا وانت شب ابعتوا للشباب زبطنا في شباب بيستنوا بدهم يحضروا لهم فيديو لازم على فكره برزك لازم يا اختي لوك لايك يور يور كوكينج طب انا طب يو لوك لايك اي دو لوك لايك ام كوكينج بس اي ثينك يو نيد تو لوك لايك يور كوكينج ا ليتل بيت مور اوكي ار وي رولينج اي ثينك وي ار برو بس اعمل لك شويه هيك واحد وين وين الوايت شوكليت هلا بينت عن جد يو ميكينج ذس اه انت جاي تبهدلني معلم انا مسكت قطع شعري كمان تعال عشان ايش؟ انه من عرق جبين يعني انت تعبت كثير عشان يبينوا او بالبودكاست او شوف بعدين احط لك واحده هيك كانك انت رايح على الجيش من الهنود الحمر 
طيب فصلنا وصلنا and we're back again يا جماعة تعبت أنا على فكرة usually usually what we do is we make the food we get it ready and then we switch over to the podcast yes but our guest today we couldn't wait we couldn't wait to we couldn't wait for that conversation so our guest today is no other than the amazing Maya Hsieh Maya Hsieh you are the only guest that's in the shot I don't, know. That? I don't know. Maya came on time. What's in this bowl right now? <laughs> they want me to try it, so I'm a little bit nervous. Listen, I wouldn't try it, but it's up to you. You made it. I'm not. <laughs> You're supposed to be confident with that. <laughs> no, we, we, we're making we, five, but we're really going to give you one, and that's about it. <laughs> yeah, it. You, you have to sign a waiver that whatever happens <laughs> after. Yeah, so, <laughs> did you guys, get, you guys get that waiver ready? <laughs> 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 Usually it would be able to make the, the guest do work, but I think it only makes sense. I think no, no, no. <laughs> There's a lot of dishes in here. I'm not doing nothing. Uh, I just said, wish I knew what they were making. They haven't told me. Maya, you can take over. You can't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? Maya, Hussain, hold this right here. Oh, okay, yeah, I can do that. Jama'a <laughs> rukzu So we got the, we got the ramekins ready. They have flour. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> ramekin. 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 We okay. got the ramekins ready. Yeah. This is pistachio lava cake, Mike. So, what do you we, think about that? You were oh. supposed, supposed to go now since I you're the guest. I but... guess I guess you have. So, we're going to fill these up. Do we fill them up to the top? I feel fill like we should leave a bit. I can't see nothing. So fill them up. It, fill it goes up. on my hand. Oh, it went on my yeah. Thank you. Let's leave it. Should I try it? Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Bad. Okay, did you see that? This trick? actually, yeah, but this is not bad actually. This is, this is raw egg that you're eating one. <laughs> <laughs> we all have been <laughs> raw egg before. And I know, Allah, whenever I eat raw egg, my mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, play it. Whenever I eat raw egg, my mom gets so stressed. My mom has a little Maya, Maya. <laughs> استغلي شوي شغلنا الجست يعني عن جد جاي تطلع عليك جاي جاي جايبينك على الفاضي دافعين لك على الفاضي يا مايه تعالي يلا خلص اخر واحد مش حياكل اخر واحد اخر واحد مش حياكل مايه بي كيرفول مايه ميك شور دازنت دريب اون يو ولك طن واحد جيبه جيبه طيب يا جماعه سو هذا مش حبيبي هذا خلاص انسى الوضع ليتس سي اف يو جايز نو وات what you need to use to take all of that out though. A spatula. Bravo! <laughs> now we need to get him married. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> okay, so we got these ramekins ready here. Let's put them in the shot right here. Okay. Um, did we forget to add anything? Uh, no, we forgot to take this out. <laughs> uh, that is true. We didn't forget to add anything. All okay. we need to do, last thing we need to do right now, is we need a sheet tray, baking tray. Sunny. Sunny. Sunny, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> do we do we Allah. Hi, hi, hi. 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 Hi, what did, what did we say a little bit earlier? It was preheated. We're prudent. It's loading. It's loading. <laughs> Bismillah. This oven smells. خلصنا. مع السلامة. خلصنا. وداع. هاي هي. هاي هي. هاي هي. That's it. Hi it's here. so easy. Oh, I just can't forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're supposed to leave it in there for 14 to 16 minutes. So 14 I, to 16 I, minutes. I don't know which one to take. 14, 16, split it down 15, the middle. 15, yeah. 15? All right. That's all for this part. We're going to see you on the couch with none other than the Maya Hussain. We'll see you Thank in you. the Sahara. Yeah, Jama'a. Jibna al Eid. No. Yo, this one looks good. This that one looks good. I think it's just that one. It's not even coming out. Oh. Harf al E, hada la. Ashan asala dabki, asala dabki. Maya, how are you doing today? Good, hurry. All right, that's the end. That's it. Alhamdulillah. Maya, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Is this the introduction? No, no, no. It's all part of the plan. How are you, boy? <laughs> I'm doing good. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, Jamal, our guest today is one of the funniest Arab content creators and comedians in North America. 
boasting over 1.1 million followers on TikTok. She makes relatable content highlighting the Arab family lifestyle in North America, whether she's dressed up like her mom, imitating her American neighbor, or dressed up like Mariam, <laughs> or even one of my favorites, shooting with her dad. Over 400 people, <laughs> 400 million people, that is, have viewed and commented and shared her hilarious videos, and we are so happy to have her with us today. Please give it up for none other than the <laughs> Maya Singh. <Sey. laughs> no what wow, I, wow, wow, no what intro. I, I Maya, get an intro. 400 million? What yeah. Wow. You don't know that? <laughs> I, didn't even yeah. know. <laughs> I don't pay attention My, to those well, things. We, so we, do, we do deep dives on our guests. <laughs> We're going to bring up. Uh, You're slacking on your uh, analytics a little bit. I know. I you need, to, I need to watch those a little bit. <laughs> but isn't it crazy when you think about it? 400 million. Who <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> asked you? No, but think about that. 400 million that's views. That's insane. As your total I just, views. Well, that, and that, that's just TikTok. Us. That's everything. That's half a billion people. Wow. Yeah. Isn't with that a beat. crazy? Wow, that's scary. Yeah, Jama, <laughs> uh, as you as you were probably exciting. looking, as you're probably seeing in uh, in in the other segment, we made you a very very uh, incredible dish today, Maya. Uh, pistachio lava cake. <laughs> it's uh, not ready though. <laughs> I wasn't here in the cake. beginning when they made it, so I'm a little bit nervous as to what they put inside. I saw a lot of eggshells. I'll tell you that much. Ma Maya, you signed the forms, didn't you? You I, signed the waiver. Uh, Listen, signed it with my finger. Like this. The form says we are not liable for anything. <laughs> Uh, Listen, I heard that this is the second attempt, so I'm going to be very honest. I'm like Keith Lee, okay? <laughs> Keith Mean? Keith Lee, where he's just since like... He mean Allah. So <laughs> you guys don't know Keith Lee? Keith Mean? Keith Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Keith Mean. <laughs> he sits there and he just talks like this who, who, and he rates food. Is that... Okay, well, can you... Can you, can you be Keith, Keith Lee, Lee today? today? Yeah, yeah. For the next... Uh, Okay. okay. So, tell them what, I'm, what I'm you I'm maglube. Maglube. Sah al maglube. No, guys. We made. Chabat on it. Here, from above. Ah, no. Another way. Aiyoh, hell. Aiyoh. ASMR. Yeah, guys. Today we made pistachio lava cake for the Maya Hassan. Uh, like I said, Maya, uh, you signed the waiver, and we are not liable for okay. any uh, any complications. Are we ready? Should I lift it? Are we good? Looking at our producer. Are we good? Are you sure we're good? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared. Yeah, Shabab, dua, dua. Yalla, yalla. Bismillah. Tawakka ala Allah. Eh. All right. Bishoka, bishoka. This is not how my mom makes magluba at all. Jeeb sakina, jeeb sakina. Jeeb sakina, Allah. Bro, I feel like you should have. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. You ready? Bismillah. Wow. wow. This is the perfect one. Wow. Omar, you're supposed to say wow together. Wow. Okay. Okay, ready? Three, Again. Two, one. <laughs> wow. wow. As you can see, Jama, it's a, it's a lava cake. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a cake. I mean, <laughs> it looks like lentil soup on top of a lava cake. I'm sorry about Adas. My lava cake. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it doesn't look horrendous. I've, I've seen worse. Listen, as long as it tastes good. <laughs> All right, let's uh, l l let's give her one of the nice plates, uh, and and and. and uh, oh ooh. wow! Maya, we're supposed to say wow together. Maya, okay, okay. Maya, yes, we're supposed to say wow together. This one. Okay, ready? Okay. One. Okay. Okay. Three, two. Maya, wow. wow. So which one am I eating now? Because <laughs> Maya, <laughs> I'm like uh, uh, oh, salt, oh, oh, okay, garnish. Okay, okay, I can't wait. Wow. Oh, garnish. Garnishna. Garnishna. I'm so happy. Okay, here it goes. Yalla. Bismillah. I'm going to eat the table. Oh my gosh. Mama, Baba, I love you guys so much. <laughs> and my brother, this but is, homie. This is, this is uh, uh, a honest, honest rating. Okay, look at only. that. Honest rating. I don't know what's on yeah, the sport. Honestly, <laughs> no. I, I don't want an honest rating. Because <laughs> mm. <laughs> Well, the it's, it's, okay, good. Well, it's, it's <laughs> definitely not cooked fully, <laughs> but it's good. But it's actually really, really good. You know what? No, wallah, I'm not I'm joking. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to eat this whole thing, wallah. Yeah, Jamaa, I told you, I, I've, I've been it's uh, practicing. It's so warm and moist, and you know, it's just it's I'm cooked on the outside. Problems. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, Jamaa, this is actually a very happy moment because I really was not expecting that reaction. <laughs> Golden uh, balance kind of competition. <laughs> Golden balance. Put that camera on me right here. Golden balance, you listen up. You listen up, Mr. Ahmed Dhabi. We're coming for you, buddy. We're coming for you. The golden balance is. What do you think, Omar? It's definitely undercooked. <laughs> I think we knew that. That's, that's out of the equation. Bro. I think we know that. But I mean the taste is there. You know, I think I think we got the, the flavor right. But yeah. there's there's something missing. 
Honestly, <laughs> you guys did a good job. <laughs> Anyways, Maya, I, I'm, uh, I'm really glad that you liked our food. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and first of all, thank you so much for coming on this podcast. We are very, Thanks very excited me. to have you. Maya, I feel like you're one of those creators that I personally love watching. And I think I love watching you because, first of all, you make really good content. But even more than that, you make content that's very relatable. And especially the ones with with your parents and uh, shout out to to my uh, lovely parents and your lovely parents as well. <laughs> how did that you know? How did that come about? Where 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 did you start on your TikTok journey? And how did you get that idea of 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 you know realizing hey, I have so many of these cool experiences that I want to share because I know people like me that have lived a very similar lifestyle to me also have had these experiences. Yeah. How did right. that TikTok journey start for you? Right. So. I learned that we all have the same experiences yeah. like from the past mm -hmm. when I started doing these videos, right? So for me, growing up, I lived in a house where when my dad came to Canada, he brought all his siblings, right? And they all lived in the same house. They weren't married yet. Yeah. So we, you know, me growing up in that household, it was like the out of full house. You know the show yeah. Full House? Yeah. <laughs> so I tell people this all the time and it's like, Things were happening in front of me growing up mm. until this day. Like my ideas are things that actually either happened to me or still is happening yes. to me. Right. So that's really where I get my ideas from is like from my mostly my dad. How do my mom is <laughs> not even Mitajabi. She doesn't even act that way. It's mostly my dad that yeah. I've created into an influencer uh, as a mom. Right. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm a girl making these videos. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I can't always be that guy, right? Mm. I try to put a mustache yeah, there. <laughs> but, you know, before COVID started, I had made a character. I don't know if you guys ever saw her, Ahui Ma Georgette. So it was a filter of an old lady. And I was just doing funny old lady videos in Arabi. Mm. And it was, I only had like, I have only like 400 something when, followers. When did you start? This is when you first started. This is when I first started making videos just for fun. Like yes, okay, short okay. videos. This started in 2018. Oh yeah. Oh, wow. yeah so like making, that's, that's pre COVID. Yeah. 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 It was just for fun. Like yeah. it was making people laugh and yeah. people, I did it on Snapchat at first and somebody oh, said, make I a see. page and just do it for fun and make yeah. us laugh here I and there. That. And then I was working at the gym at the time too. So I was working full time, like almost seven days a week. Wow. I'm going to be honest. I asked for a raise and she wouldn't give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I did so much work there and well, she wouldn't give it to me. Like, go meet her now. Look where she is now. Yeah, <laughs> go meet her how, now. how it works. <laughs> but, you know, I have my degree in ECE as a teacher, right? Yeah. So, like, it was either pursue that or work in the gym. And I loved mm. working in the gym. I loved the atmosphere. And I felt like I was managing the place and I had control, right? But the fact that I wasn't getting what I deserve, I just said, you know what? Peace kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. I gave my two weeks notice in, but I yeah. left one week later. <laughs> I don't know what camera I'm looking at, by the way. You, you look at whatever camera you okay. want to look at. <laughs> All of them at the same time. And uh, I left, and three weeks later, COVID happened. Like, mm. subhanAllah, like, how wow. things happen. And somebody told me to download TikTok. I'm like, I don't have room for this app yeah. on my phone at this point, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, I just started posting random videos just to kind of see what would yeah, go. Test the waters. And then I posted a video of my brother. He had just gotten married. Yeah. And uh, he, his wife made soup haram for the first time. And my brother's very like straight. I don't know if you guys ever met him. No, He's I very don't, like I don't think so. <laughs> straight face kind of thing. <laughs> so she was so excited. And she asked him, him in front of everybody. She's like, did you try my soup? And he goes, it was Ramadan. <laughs> and he's just like, no, soup is a waste of space. <laughs> and it went viral. I got a million views. And then my dad at two o'clock in the morning, I was like, my, to my mom, I was like, I have a great idea for my dad. You know, it's relatable. Mm. So he woke up and he was in his PJs. And I'm like, Baba, I want you to go outside. <laughs> and when I say go, put your hands behind your back and look at the trees. He's like, sure, and whatever. It was like <laughs> his first video, right? So he did it. Well, it, right away it worked. And yeah. then it was a sound that was trending. Okay. And I posted it and then it hit viral and my dad ran up the stairs with one million, one million. And I was like so happy for him, right? And then I started understanding that I need to stick to the Arab type of... Demographic. Yeah. Yeah. And I watched, I don't know if you guys ever watched Saban Joom, Jamilu Hana. Jamilu Hana. Yeah. Like me and my brother grew up watching yeah, it. So yeah, yeah. for me, it was already, I was already inspired mm. to make these types of comedic videos. So... 
that's kind of how I started. <laughs> I love yeah. that. I, love I don't that. know if that answers the question. No, it, it, it doesn't. And it really plays up the fact that like, I love that you incorporate a lot of your family in that because I feel like out of, out of households are just so family oriented, which I personally love. Like mm -hmm. I'm very family oriented. And like, even for me, like mm -hmm. in a Salah TikTok, my mom is our number one fan. Yeah. I love it. Well, when we ever, whenever yeah. we post a video, like I post a video maybe at like 11 o'clock by 11 15 it's sent in our family group my mom yeah, is like yeah, sharing yeah. it with all our friends and, and i love it whether it's it's a crappy video whether it's a good video she's always there to, to give that support so yeah i love, I love how that. your dad is that, that same exact oh, way yeah. and like i'm yeah. assuming he loves it too he does he loves it and he'll always tell me he goes you're famous because of me yeah. <laughs> but no it's 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 uh, it's so cool because once you involve somebody in in the same household as you the video just automatically becomes pure yeah. like it's a lot easier to film it and it it's shows genuine. and it shows the support yeah yes. it yeah, really yeah, does yeah. because it is unfamiliar for our parents the social mm. media world right snapchat and TikTok yeah. and instagram yeah. and there's a lot it's of things that they're them. seeing and they're like what is this you know That's and they true. get scared mm -hmm. they get scared for us right like it's just so the, does your dad now ask you to make TikToks so he can be in it <laughs> no like, he, he actually does it when he's like in a really good mood, I'm like, Bob, I have an idea. Like, <laughs> when he's not, I'm like, okay. You, know, you, you gotta there goes you gotta that time. trend. You gotta time <laughs> that idea. That you gotta time it when Bob was in a good mood. <laughs> There's been a lot of trends that I've lost on because I'm like, oh, okay, he's not God. in the, he's tired today, tell us. <laughs> And my hilarious. mom doesn't like being in videos. She just doesn't like that, but she's, she does support me. Yeah. What is up everybody? This episode is brought to you by Nobody. We are fully funding this project out of our own pockets. So please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Share the balash. You were a teacher at some point? Yeah, so what happened was... You were a teacher at some point? Yeah, like I was working in the kindergarten room with another teacher alongside. Nice. And I've done it for so many years before I started working at the gym. Mm. I was already... Did, I did it for like four years. I used to work at Rick Hansen. Oh, nice. In the childcare there. Nice. Well, um, and after the, the situation at the gym, and then I started making videos, mm. nobody was working. Mm. Nobody could work. We had to stay at home, right? So then I ended up getting a job at the COVID center. <laughs> and, at, and, and at the same time, I was DJing, right? Yeah, so, that's the Maya saying I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was Maya DJing, I was working at the COVID center, and I was making videos at the yeah. same time, right? So later on, um, I said I was just going to work at the COVID center temporary until, like, just to make that income. And mm -hmm. then I applied to the Thames Valley board, and then I got the job. And I actually had COVID when I did the interview. <laughs> I was so sick and they had no clue. I straightened my hair from here, not here. I was like, oh, I only wore a nice shirt. I wore my pajama pants. Yeah. Did the interview and for some reason I got the job. <laughs> I don't even think I, I think I asked her to repeat the question a hundred times because I just couldn't think, right? I even had the window open and it was like there was snow up. <laughs> because I was Something only, so only Arabs would yeah, do. Oh, 100%. Only Arabs but would do. But right after I got the job, I got back, I got a job at Rick Hansen again. Yeah. So I got to work in the kindergarten room, which was different than working in the childcare. Okay. But it was a major change for me because now I had to make videos edit them and be at my job. So mm. what I would do is I would wake up early. I'm the type of person that makes the video the same day. I don't know if you guys are like that. I like to make the video the same oh, day. Yeah. And I, post yeah. I wish day. we could. Oh, yeah. But it, it's so hard. Like, it's so imagine hard we really get cool. 10 guys together every single day to post a video. Yeah. I know. It's tough. It is hard. But for me, it, that's how I work. I work best that that's way. Sick. I like so that. I would that's wake sick. up at like 7 a.m., make a video. Mm. Then I'd go to work. On my first break, my first 15, I would cut all my videos into parts. And then my 30 minute break, I <laughs> would translate what I'm saying. Oh yeah, captions. And the translating is the hardest. And I do it because I am trying to get non arabs to yeah, 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 not yeah. just arabs and whatnot. Yeah. And it helps, it really does boost my page up. But that, that 30 minutes I'm translating and the last 15 I'm trying to comment and being engaged with mm. with everybody yeah. yeah and then I just leave it you know and then I I, I don't know if it's going viral I don't know yeah, what's yeah. happening you're busy like, teaching you know, I'm working you know, <laughs> you're like working. I can't yeah I have to focus on these kids <laughs> <laughs> and 90 percent of my kids in my class were Adams too so it was like that's hilarious you know how that that's, be. it's, it's, it's an monkeys. intense job that's a very intense job it is like, honestly especially but, working with kids that young it's intense yeah. you, you you brought up a very good point though about like translating to get the to, to get the non-arabs to, to actually start watching your stuff yeah. too 
and it's something that we in Asala actually go through too. It's like, okay, do we do we speak in Arabic? Do we speak in English? What do we translate? Like, yeah, stuff like that. So, what's the any? How do you pick? Like, what demographic does my Hassan actually want? Like, what do you what are you going after? I, I I want everybody. Yeah, I want everybody because I realize so many people relate to me. Mm. It's like insane people from different parts of the world. Yeah, I was in Mexico <laughs> swimming, minding my own business, and some non Arab girl swims up to me. And she goes, aren't you that girl that does Arab <laughs> videos? And I'm like, what is your name? And she goes, Mackenzie. I'm like, that's the <laughs> widest name I've ever heard of my life. And you watch that's my amazing. videos. Like, even in Toronto when I was doing um, interviews for Yolo Let's Talk, yeah. people were like, people you do the neighbor you. videos. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. people love my neighbor videos. Mm-hmm. And that one's, that's a, a series that I have that blows up every time yeah, I yeah. post it. Yeah. So a lot of people I got, like, outside of the Arab world mm. to start following me, which I love. So it really is important to translate your videos. Yeah, definitely. And it really does help people learn the yeah. language as well. Yeah. yeah, It's like people, so many people message me say, saying thank you mm-hmm. because I'm learning specific little word, words yeah. here and there, right? Yeah. So. I say we take a quick break and we'll have gahwa. We'll have gahwa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have gahwa. 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 Maya. Yes. And this what is, kind of gahwa is this? This is gahwa <laughs> Arabi. Hi, Ahu Shagra. Who made it? You should do my it. My mother. Oh, th- th- this my mother made, so this should be good. <laughs> Hopefully. It's going to be yeah. good. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. This is an everyday thing for a solid I love it. Gahwina, Malam. Gahwina. Okay, but it's not Sahra Sabahi, Sahra Liom, Mamma Yasinia, Jama, Sahra Sabahi. Hanayot is a bit. I feel like you guys keep asking me the questions, but I want to ask you guys questions. Oh, okay. Salas, <laughs> I'm going to put you guys on my podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have 500 chairs, though. <laughs> <laughs> I only have one. <laughs> It's so funny when like when brands work with us and they're like, oh, like we want to send you merch. Uh, how much do we send? They're like, oh, send us about 20. I want to understand this. Uh, and and I, I saw your video of when you hit a million followers. How was that feeling of like all the hard work that you put in for so long? And then mm-hmm. having that, like, like it, it's a big milestone. And it's not a milestone that many people have reached. It's like, how how did you feel in that moment? Because you, I saw you crying, Maya. Yeah, I did. So I don't, tell me, don't tell me, oh, you know, it was another day. It was I. You know, you <laughs> how was that feeling? You know, um, subhanAllah, I hit, I think I, I hit on Instagram, I got verified. And then I hit a million on TikTok. And then I got verified Mabruk, on TikTok. by the way. Thank you. And the the instagram verification was a very a surprise for me yeah because what happened was um my instagram paused from followings like i had only 242,000 followers for 3 months i was posting every day the views were the same i don't know what happened i don't know why but i wasn't growing the number would go up and then go back down mm. and go up and i was yeah. it was playing a mind game for me it really made me want to quit, to be honest with you, because I felt like I was putting out content. And it's just not and working. And it's not working. And yeah. for us in Canada, we don't get paid. We don't get yeah. paid for reels. Yeah. No. So if I was getting the views and I'm not getting followers, it's okay. Who cares? But I, there was nothing. Like for me, it was like I needed to grow on Instagram. Instagram is a platform that I really love. Yeah. It's For me, it's my favorite app. And I was just, I was just, just disappointed, right? Mm-hmm. But as soon as the numbers went up, I applied for the verification at 2 a.m. <laughs> it was just like I have articles and I posted it and then one week later I get a phone call from my friend Donna and she's screaming and I'm like what the heck like I, I couldn't see I was just woken up <laughs> <laughs> and I'm telling my dad I got verified my dad's like what's this <laughs> <laughs> I'm like is that blue check but it goes I don't know okay. like so happy for me he just doesn't know how to react I don't understand. but um, when I hit the million for me, it was huge. Honestly, yeah. it was because it, it takes it takes a long time to get to a million followers. And 100%. now with this platform, TikTok, it's getting harder and harder to grow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It really is. And all these platforms are in competition, right? Yeah. So there's some people, there's some people that hit a million like this. It did take me years. But for me, I was still so proud of it. Yeah. That like this is my following the people that are following me are really, I, I feel like 
are real followers. They're not just randoms. I, I feel like because it took me that long to build, it's not just random yeah, people following 100%. me, if that makes any 100%. sense. Yeah. But it was, I, if it was a relief. Mm. As soon as I got that million, I was like, okay. And then when I, I got to 1.1, I, I thought it was going to take me forever to get to 1.1. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know how many followers I need yeah. to get to 1.1. Yeah. So it, for me now, it's, it's not even about the numbers really. It's for me, the most important thing is being consistent. Mm -hmm. posting every day and I'm trying to expand my brand. Right. Mm -hmm. So, but it felt good. No, I, it it's, good. it's, it's interesting that you say that because, uh, like the, the goal for any, um, influencer or like any like TikTok user, I guess is always the 1 million. Yeah. Right. And then, 100%. okay, you, you reach it and then now what? Yeah, okay, so exactly. I, I have a million. So what do exactly. I do now? You know what I mean? And you know what? Like, I feel like if I, if I made that million right away at the time, yeah. I think it was a, it would have been a, even a bigger deal to be honest with you because mm -hmm. it was like too it'd soon, be quick, like, yeah, right? Yeah. But it for me it was everything. Honestly, it was, and even for my family, they were so happy. So this way, you feel like you really deserve it because you put in so yeah, much work like, and I didn't it's more take, satisfying. I didn't take social media seriously until I got to five hundred thousand views. Uh, sorry, followers. Followers, mm -hmm. yeah. Like I, I, I didn't get to a hundred, and I said, "That's it. <laughs> this is my career." You know, leaving the kindergarten class <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> Come on, you know? So uh, wait, so at five hundred k, that's when you're like, okay, I like. Yeah, um, like I'm, I'm. I'm really a content like, creator. Yeah, this, this is something big now. Yeah. Right? When did you quit your job? Last. April. What what was your how followers? many followers? Uh, I think I was at six hundred ish. Oh wow! Yeah, but I started seeing income last year from yeah. like the different ads and stuff. Social media, yeah. Yeah, and I work for Tahini's as well. So mm -hmm. for me, when I saw the income, I was just like, versus <laughs> being a teacher, I'm like, what am I doing? Eight yes. hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like literally putting their noses in their. <laughs> and you get paid them more eat their to lunches. Like I'm putting my hands down <laughs> my back and walking what? around like eat your sandwiches. 90% of them have sandwiches. <laughs> 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 well, I've seen Kusa, I've seen Fasulia Rose in that class. And I'm walking around just watching them eat yeah. this good food and I'm eating like a little <laughs> toast sandwich. <laughs> and you, you taught it like a very like out of school, like has a lot of out of kids. Oh my God, Rick Hansen's full of autos. Well, I, like, I mean, it's London is full of autos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our city is full of autos. We're yeah. from the same city by the way yeah London, yeah Ontario. shout out london, london but so okay so what was going through your head because it's like <laughs> like quitting your job is not an easy thing to do at all no right it's like that's scary it's still scary yeah it's still scary because you don't know where social media is there's go, always honestly. a risk factor for there sure. is but what's good is that youtube's paying now mm -hmm. facebook and mm -hmm. all these other platforms right and again i have ads that i'm set with like contract wise so i I do see the money and I'm, yeah. my, I when I'm not saying I'm rich. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm rich. <laughs> I am making a little more than yeah. what I was before. And mm -hmm. I'm working from home. Yeah. The only downside about working home, you become an introvert. <laughs> 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 I used to be an extrovert. Uh, I just that's like a, that's sit. A good if point. I don't have a reason, they made me leave my house tonight, guys, to come <laughs> to this podcast. <laughs> it's do scary. You, do, do you ever have that like, fear on tiktok or like any kind of negative experience from being a social media creator right so like just like how you said before your mom watches your videos too <laughs> my parents watch it and i yeah. want to be very respectful for my parents as well yes you know out of not just for my parents my whole entire family right we're a big family so i have had videos that i posted and i took down because mm -hmm. right away i got feedback and i was just like this is not good mm -hmm. like i i've been a human a humanitarian uh, I, I've, I, I've literally posted a video when I was in Lebanon and mm -hmm. it, like it was about raising money, but there was a situation that happened and the comments were flooded. It was going viral, but I had to take it down. Mm -hmm. And for some people, they'll keep it yeah. like, well, this is viral. I don't care what people are saying, but yeah. for me, it's just, it's not a good image. Right. Yeah. And there's been comedic videos that I've done and I posted it and people were like, no, no, no. Like, this is bad. And I was like, so I deleted it, but it made me way more self-aware when i was posting i was just like okay i gotta be yeah. really careful because people are very sensitive and they're taking yeah. it in, in, the, in the wrong context right mm -hmm. so yes i have that's that, that's felt a very, that yeah. negativity that, that, that's a very good benchmark like if if my family can watch what i'm posting then i know i'm on the right track 
You yeah, know I'm a, I mean? you know like, what? I have a lot of parents that come up to me and say, my kids, you know, when they want to watch TikTok, they'll put it on just my page. Mm. I try to keep my page very... Um, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't help the situation at all. I'm focused on this podcast and they're focused on their bellies. Classic Asan. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. The bottle is important, guys. The bottle is important. I know, I know. Why don't I take the bottle? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You didn't try it? Haram. You're missing out, bro. Haram, haram, You're missing haram, out. Haram, haram. You didn't even try it. Did I you? haven't tried it. No, these guys. Well, are... everyone's talking. Everyone's talking at, everyone's talking like, at all. Hamza looked at Hamza. He's like, he just took my plate. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'd eat it in that. Yeah, it's a lot better for sure. It's actually good. It's really good actually. Right it's just away. undercooked a lot, but <laughs> a lot undercooked. I <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Oh, this is good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my god, the mic is gonna fall. Everything's gonna fall. We're gonna say that we're not going to eat. We'll ruin our entire set. <laughs> ruin the conversation plus so we can eat. <laughs> I love that. Play my my thumbnail. Show me my feet. Give him one of the lead. All of them are happy. Salmo, Allah. Oh man. Boy, Maya, I have a question. Oh boy. <laughs> How Since he even give a preface, I have a I, question. I know. <laughs> Since TikTok is now like the this new thing and it's the new trend, like for 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 this new generation coming up. And as as we said earlier, there's a lot of kids on on these platforms. Yeah. And a lot of these kids are probably hoping to take similar paths. Yeah. Right. And of course, there's there's a good side of social media, like like we talked about today. And there's a bad side, which we also talked about today. Right. But if if you had to give these people uh, an advice, especially the, the little ones that are watching us here today, what what would that advice be? If if you could think of something on this. Oh, spot, I, I already you... have something. Okay, Finish there school. You go. <laughs> there you go. That's a good Finish one. Finish school. Honestly, I'm I'm actually glad you asked this question. I got invited to a career fair here in London, Ontario, mm. to talk about my career. That's that's interesting. I declined it. Okay. Because I don't want to stand there in mm. front of these kids' parents and say, yeah. Do TikTok. <laughs> social media is the way to go when they're supposed to become like an engineer and they're probably good at that. You know yeah, what I mean? You're right. You're right. And this is the problem. People are getting this information from um, people who are creating social media that maybe have 100,000 followers and they're like, you got to do this. Yeah. Why? Yeah. You... you I didn't even think this was going to be my career job at 100,000. There was no way. I was stuck at 100,000 for a long time. And then I was stuck at 500,000 for a long time. Oh, my God. It's kind of scary because <laughs> it's like when you, when you get to a certain point, you stop a lot. You slow down. When you think you're, you got it, you don't. You have to push through. I'm not mm-hmm. sitting here comfortably thinking like my life is set. No, I have to still work towards what I want. And that's the thing. Making videos is not easy. It's not. It's not. You Say that again. Make Say the, that again. Making videos is not look at, easy. Look at each other's each camera. <laughs> no, <it laughs> Making is. videos is not easy. <laughs> Seriously, it's, it's no, not. There, you have to like... think. You have to edit. You have to execute, translate your grammar. My, I don't have, like if, if I focus in English class, my <laughs> yeah, grammar would have yeah. been great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? Do you have like any memory of like specific points where you're like, this is not going to happen. Like this is not going to work out. And you like almost quit. But then you're like, no, I'm going to keep going. There was one point where I sat down. I'm like, oh, my God, I can't think of an idea. Like, I just was fried. Mm. Like, I'm like, maybe this isn't for me. Maybe this I I cannot always be in this position where yeah. it's like a run of uh, ideas. But along the way, when you learn social media and how it works, there's a lot of research. Like, there's a lot of YouTube videos that I watch. There's a lot of questions I ask people. And when I started, and I'm pretty sure when you guys started, we didn't have help. Mm-hmm. We didn't. I, I had nobody to ask. Now yeah. I can ask anybody really, yeah. and I can get as much as I can. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of people, influencers, that don't want to give too much. Info. Gatekeep. Uh, gatekeep. Yeah, and it, it drives me insane. Buy like, my course. Yeah, like no, but <laughs> <laughs> well, buy my course. <laughs> Listen, Maya, I'd love to give you this information for two ninety nine. Lillahi ya muhsinin. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Lillahi ya muhsinin.
people that are in this like you're in school for this right now like you're learning a lot of the video no you're not in them mm. <laughs> I think yeah no I, I totally am actually <laughs> <laughs> but you have your own he like, has his own business sorry yeah. that's, that's, <laughs> I thought that's what you were doing in school my I'm bad I'm school studying business add it and out add it and out shout out shout out YSK Media add it and out yeah yeah but yeah but there's so much new things that always 100%, come along. 100%. Sometimes I watch a video and I'm like, oh, buddy, how the heck did they edit yeah, this? This yeah. is talent. On TikTok talent. or like on YouTube? On anything, yeah. really, on YouTube. People are taking yeah. their TikTok videos now and posting it on YouTube. That's a very right? good mm -hmm. point. And, and uh, like, it's a good point because what I notice is that if a video is posted in somewhat like bad quality. Yeah. Um, or like the, the execution of it isn't like the best. Right. It's right away like not going to work. Yeah. And you have to think like I, I've, I've told so many people this. Mm. This is, I've told so many people this. This is so important. Yeah. Our brains are like children. Like. <laughs> it should be seen a while. You're going to ask for a napkin for like two like, years. Our <laughs> brains are like children. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> Bro, I exactly don't know. I need a napkin, man. Look at my finger. <laughs> Like Please, I'm going to come bro. come wash his mouth. Here. Yeah, there you go. I don't know where I, I don't know what happened. I just thank you, Amar. Thank Yo, you. I actually think it's better if you let it sit and harden a little bit. Yeah, yeah I mean, then away. Yeah. See, I told you it was supposed to be let, let, yeah. let it cook for let 30 cook minutes. Cook yeah. <laughs> he forgot the zero. He forgot the zero. I'm right? sorry, my, what were you saying? I don't remember. Probably something oh. important. <laughs> I was saying mm -hmm. that the the quality it's of the video. Good. No, and no, our brains. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. How we think, like how we watch something, mm -hmm. we can only watch something for so long. Yeah. When you're on social media and you're on TikTok, your finger is ready to scroll. Literally, just so waiting. the most. So when you're talking about what's the secret ing ingredient, the first five seconds to a video is the most mm -hmm. important. One thousand percent. Because if you lose their attention, if you start the video like. Hey guys, so today I'm already skipping. <laughs> You're yeah. already like three like, TikToks later. Guys, I just got in an accident. I'm watching. Like, oh, <laughs> like what's about to happen? Yeah. Right? And these things are so important. Kids, when they watch Coco Melon, if you watch Coco each clip, Melon. yeah. <laughs> I, I, was, I was trying to think of the song. I couldn't think of. It. I don't have kids like it. But when you watch Coco Melon, I want you yeah. guys to actually go watch it. Uh, J uh, what was her name? J Jamie? What, what, what? Jamie. <laughs> Jamie, please pull up, <laughs> pull up, you pull up that video of Coco Melon. <laughs> why why do you, you assume that I'm not going to watch it? Yeah, <laughs> no, <laughs> but I you know. will see each clip is about two, three seconds long. So by the time the kid wants to turn his that's head, crazy. He, something else is popping up. And mm. that's why Coco Melon is huge. Yeah. Because they've really gravitated. They, they grab these kids' attention. And they change the colors. They change the scene. They change the song. They change everything like seconds right so they don't have time and that's the same thing with creators is that they don't realize and that's that's the problem like when you're when you're talking about kids mm. do not f not finish school especially high school there's people that are not finishing high school that blows my mind i don't even have the guts to even think to tell my dad yeah. Bye -bye. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> especially when i I'm tell my dad that i'm gonna creator. stop uh, stop teaching my dad's like she will stop teaching yeah. <laughs> you know like why'd you go to school and, my, and I had to show him my bank account. And he's like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Forget like, about the that's school. <laughs> good argument. It's a good argument, right? I'm almost sure. You know what I'm saying? But like, it's like kids just don't. Social media is life right now. And it's scary. It's even scary for our parents, like I was saying yeah. before. Yeah. Finish your work. Like, finish school and then see how you feel about it. Right? I think that the scary part is, too, is that this new generation believes in it so much. Yeah. And our parents don't. Yeah. So like, like they're on like opposite extremes of, yeah. of a spectrum, and it's like, I need, that's that's what's making me a bit kind of scared about how things are gonna go. Yeah. Um. But no, that's that's definitely an interesting point. Like, I feel like the the span of of people's attention is just going down, down, it's, it's down, so down, sad. down. And I, and I'm thinking like, once they actually need. To focus for a certain amount of time they won't be able to they won't be able to and that's why like doing school and taking so long to get to get it done will actually try to help maybe a little bit in in yani you trying to focus a little bit more studying here and there you well, know. Know. <laughs> Test <bags. laughs> Let's look at that camera and tell them stay in school i have issue ya jama'a al madrasa and that was your school experience <laughs> <laughs> i have issue ya jama'a al madrasa <laughs> <laughs> that was your school experience <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, what about you guys? Um, Omar loved school. I, I, I <laughs> did you act, cut this high out? High school dropout. <laughs> <laughs> Did you graduate high school? I, I, alhamdulillah. No, alhamdulillah. He, he graduated, I graduated. Oh, he graduated university. <laughs> oh, okay, good for you. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, alhamdulillah. I graduated university. Uh, but With some support. Some support. Min, support. Min me. <laughs> no, nothing more, nothing less. But no, honestly, like, um, I, I had a hard time. I feel like a lot of people do have a hard time too. With um, with, with school. Yeah, oh yeah. You know what I mean? So I can see how the rate would start to increase more and more and more. Because yeah. not everybody actually has like a... Uh, like an, an easy time in school. Uh, like I would say everybody, if not the majority, have a very tough time going through school. Yeah. I mean, I'm at, I'm at a point, I'm, I'm in school still. Um, and I'm at a point where I'm about to graduate in like three weeks. But I'm at a point right now where like I'm like very done with school. Yeah. Um, just because I want to get to like that next part of my life. But I know that once I leave school, I'm going to miss it so much. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's like school is kind of underrated. Like you don't realize what you have until you don't have it anymore. So like now when I see a lot of people, like, I see that trend so much of like, it's a big push on, oh, screw school. You don't need the school. What are they going to teach you? Go focus on like starting your own business and, and doing that. Like, like, look, there's nothing wrong with entrepreneurship, but I, I'm a big supporter of entrepreneurship. Right. But like finish your schooling, get your degree. Yeah, for me, like if I if social media doesn't work for me, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> I have my degree, I just, yeah, so. and the school system is always gonna need teachers because it is harder to teach in the mm -hmm. school now, right? So that's why it's like just to advocate for kids to to do this. Yeah, I don't I don't advocate it at all, unless you're like majorly talented in something and yeah. you know that it's gonna blow up. Why not? There mm -hmm. are kids. There are people that are well, your I mean, age that are. But like, th there's no reason to like quit everything in, else in your life and just no. pursue this. At the, like, it, like for the most part, you stayed on TikTok until you had 600K and then you started thinking, 100%. oh, I'm going to quit my job. Yeah. We all have full-time jobs. Mm -hmm. yeah. like, I mean, like, yeah, full-time. Like, I'm, I'm in school yeah. full-time. <laughs> but, <Yeah. laughs> but um, you know, like we, we do this on the side it's as on well. The side. So it's like, there's no point in you saying, oh, I'm going to quit everything else in my life and just go yeah, head yeah. on, like just pursue this. Yeah. Be persistent. Like there's nothing wrong with persevering, but still have your plan B and C and D and E yeah. figured out as well. Yeah. Right? And you, you have to. And the thing is with me, like when I look back on my life, when I graduated, I did the whole school thing. I worked in childcare and then I ended up moving to Calgary for a couple of years and then came back. Then I worked at the gym, but I also opened up my own photography business. Nice. And then that, I stopped that because I found myself, I loved taking the pictures. I hated editing the pictures. Mm. And I loved videography too. And I loved editing. Interesting. But I knew, speaking to Diamond Digital, <laughs> <laughs> that it was stress galore yeah. oh, to yes. video videography, like video being a videographer for <laughs> weddings. Oh my God, I yeah, can't speak. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was I mean, born in it, Canada. It is. No, it really it, is. It is. And it's really hard to deal with autumns. Oh my God. <laughs> it, like, you know, like it's, it. it's the most difficult thing. And that's why I stopped photography and then I got into DJing. Yeah. The DJing is the same thing as photography because you're, you're dealing with autumns. You're still in the wedding industry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, and you're still and dealing with autumns. Uh, literally, yeah. It's a responsibility. Yeah. That a DJ is like, a big job you're yeah. entertaining everybody and you have to hope to god like i'm praying i'm saying the, all the surahs <laughs> in the quran hoping that this music's not going to shut down on me the microphone's going to mid, work mid mix you, you know see my I mean? like, yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> like mix <laughs> <that. laughs> <laughs> every dot in the world yeah. just mix it. did you ever think to yourself like this is like okay i'm a dj now and like i'm just gonna be dj maya for a while or no i always knew it was gonna be my part-time job and i know that it's still needed as a woman dj in Definitely london it's not one thousand very hard. happy happy international women's day by the way yesterday thank you happy all thank you so much <laughs> i appreciate <Day>. it <laughs> but for me the djing part what happened the last event that i did people were stopping me and taking pictures Mm. and the music would shut off because no. I wasn't there <laughs> to change the song. <laughs> so I was like, I can't do this anymore. Like yeah, people are coming people up to me on the table you. and I'm trying to do my job. I'm getting paid for this Yeah, and I'm not fulfilling it properly because the song keeps stopping. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> so yeah. I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> and that was, my dad's was like, you buy all this equipment. What you gonna <laughs> do? Like my dad always has something to say. Like, yeah. he's like, every day you change your job. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing. Like for me, it was, I'm glad I did that because I got a feel, I got my hands on different things mm -hmm. 
to the point where now I'm doing technically photography, videography, and I'm being myself and I'm making people laugh around the world. No, and I get to work from home, and it's for myself. Nobody's my yeah, boss exactly. For myself. exactly, exactly, hundred percent. Right? No, it's it's actually like, it makes me ten times more confident that my sin is gonna be ten times more successful. Chala. Because yeah. now that you're saying you've tried being a teacher, you've tried uh, working at a gym, mm-hmm. you yeah, you uh, you know photography, <laughs> editing, <laughs> being a DJ, like yeah. honestly, you've doctor, tried it all. Lawyer on the side, <laughs> tried to be uh, <laughs> so, Dubki so, groups. You know, like. I love Dubki. So, that's yeah, sure. literally. So the fact that you're here today doing what you're doing, and you're seeing your success in it, it's it's literally proving that you know this is my sin's proven concept and like. To keep going, yeah. Uh, for good, good luck, yeah. Thank so, you. so what, what, what are, what are the next steps from Ayasin? What, what's that next one? Are you? Uh... So I started my podcast. Okay. I had my first episode. Oh, that's true. We didn't talk anything about that. Anything and everything with, with Maya, Maya Hussein. Yes, this, this, anything and so, everything. Honestly, I didn't know what the heck to call it. I think that was the <laughs> hardest thing. And then yeah. I was sitting with my friend Noor, and she's like, "Oh my God, you're gonna start a podcast? What are you gonna call it? And what is it about? And when she said what is about, I'm like, I don't know, like anything and everything. And then I went like this. I was like. Anything, <laughs> and everything. anything and everything with Maya Hussein. I'm like, this is amazing because now I can talk about literally anything, anything and everything, and it yeah. doesn't have to be upon that title, like yeah. you know, like whatever it is. And it rhymes. And it rhymes. <laughs> right? I, didn't even, yeah. I didn't even think about that. Well, uh, what <laughs> happened? It just and and your good. name is in it too, right? And my name, yeah. So, so they Hussain. can't kick you off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought because like I got to a million yeah. and all these things are happening, I'm like, okay, now I need to build my brand. Mm-hmm. Right now, I have to. I want to do stand up. I want to sell my merch. I yeah. want to do podcasts, yeah. and uh, yeah, and just have fun, really, and then go with the flow. I'm literally taking it day by day, guys. Like I, I don't like to think too ahead. Like you, like I said, I make the videos the day off. That's yeah, how I yeah, am. Yeah. You had your first episode already, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I'm focused. I'm going to be doing videos with everybody, nice. like uh, like podcast interviews with everybody. Mm-hmm. But my main focus is kids. I want them to have a platform. It yeah. was so cool to watch uh, my little cousin Zara on my mm. first episode. Mm. She was, she wanted to. She was. She wanted to ask me questions. I'm like, <laughs> oh, okay. Like well, you know, yeah. it, you get to see a different side. And yeah. I thought it was a great way, and not just kids. I want to do elderly, like grandmas, Ooh, because that's... I found that my grandmas, I didn't ask enough questions. I didn't get to know them the way I wanted to. And same with kids. I feel like they say the darnest things when they're young. And it's not being put on foot. Like, our, back in the day, we had VCRs. All of that stuff was caught on camera. We don't, we don't see that stuff yeah. nowadays, right? So I thought it would be great to have a, a, a video where I'm asking them questions and they get to keep it forever for their families and yeah. get to watch it. That, that right? point about grandma's, like, that, I was, I was, I was visiting hit. my grandma. My grandma lives in Dubai. Mm-hmm. Jim <laughs> Khalid, shout out. I'm just going to watch that. <laughs> 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 I love that you call her Teta. I called her my grandma's Teta. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I was, we were there, and like, like I see her maybe like once a year when when we go down and, and visit. Um, and I love, 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 love asking her questions because, like you said, man, like first of all, so much wisdom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And specifically, I love asking her questions about Palestine because she's like that closest. Oh time. yeah. Although, like, my Teta left Palestine when she was like super young like months old like she was a baby oh. she, so oh, she, wow. she, she doesn't remember any of it mm. but she remembers that transition of like growing up young in in jordan and in, in, in that uh right that experience so i was asking her questions and, and she was just saying so much like stuff that i didn't know about like yeah. my family and my grandpa and uh, my, my grandpa passed away when i was very young so i never really okay. got to the no. chance to meet him they show. so she was mentioning all this and wallahi i, I grabbed my phone secretly because i didn't want her to see but yeah. i grabbed my phone and i went to my camera we'll press record and just left it there yeah. Uh, because genuinely you don't know like uh, like you don't know when you're gonna get that opportunity again yeah, yeah. right and trust me like if, if anybody's with their grandmas right now like go go ask them questions like there's yeah. so much wisdom and so many like cool experiences that they lived like too often we just think oh old people like khalas like but that's so not true they have yeah. so many incredible experiences so i love that you're doing that and i think that would be incredible Definitely. and maybe if my tita ever comes here <laughs> i would love oh my god we'll i'm obsessed yeah. with grandmas guys you guys i have a weird obsession <laughs> no honestly you guys brought up amazing points because like like the annoying part i feel like they just don't talk 
You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. You if you ask them questions, it. yeah, like they, they'll give you answers. Grandmas? Yeah. If, if you sit, some, yeah, like, some will just sit there and just they'll sit, just sit and they'll there, stare you know? at you <laughs> and what you're wearing and what you look like, right? Yeah. yeah. Some won't stop talking, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's true. Um, there's specific uh, elderly, like I, they were like my grandmas. Yeah. But they weren't mine. I just, <laughs> I lost mine, right? So for mm. me, it was like going back home was they were home for me yeah and they were my friends grandmas and mm. i would literally the next the day that i arrive i go the next day to their house like they they know that if i ever come to lebanon that i'm going to their house right away and i always yeah. surprise them mm. first of all they don't have phones second of all like, <laughs> i'm just popping in it's lebanon right it's villages yeah. you just did you, go did you get, yeah I, I heard about that it's like like village life, like you, you don't know. need to call or like, oh, no. go ahead, you just call us. Throw Somebody's you always home. Dong, <laughs> ring the bell and, and you just walk in and, and think, say what up. I don't crazy. think I've ever found that's somebody crazy. not home. That's <laughs> crazy, I'm like, I, I wanted to do a survey. Like, does anybody work in this country? <laughs> <laughs> imagine, imagine we did that. I noticed that exactly. Imagine thing. we did that now. Just pull up here. Uh, Bro, that's I crazy. Yeah. I, would, <laughs> I would kick you out. Hala, 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 hala. That's what I noticed back home is like, It'll be like 1 p.m. on like a Tuesday. And like, I'm here because I'm on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> but what's your excuse? Yeah, yeah, literally. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's so funny. But yeah. those grandmas, I used to sit with them and talk to them. And I used to videotape them and send it to my friends. And they mm. were, they, all of the, 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 the grandma, like the grandma and her husband passed yeah. away literally oh, weeks apart. And then the other grandma passed away a month after. So mm. I lost all three oh my God. Hamun in like the same like couple months. And it was like for me going back to Lebanon last year was so hard to not be able to visit them. Yeah. I still went to their home and it was so emotional for me because I just mm -hmm. felt like I had to go visit. But it's just so sad. And, and then my friends were like, Maya, we're, you're so amazing that, to have taken those videos for us. Mm -hmm. We didn't take enough videos. We didn't ask enough questions. We didn't, like, we didn't go down to Lebanon as much. And, and it's sad. Like, you know, you have your grandma. I'm so happy that you visit her as best as you can, right? Like, we only have them for so long. And they have, they have the Arab culture. Yeah. You know, when I look at my parents, like, I want to grow up, inshallah, one day when I get married and have kids, I want to only have the out of culture at home. I don't want this life we're living. It's a very scary world we're living in. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Even for our parents, like you have to imagine your parents walking outside their homes is not like how it was when they walked outside their homes in the past. Mm -hmm. It's not, they, I, I don't think they feel us safe. Like my dad, when I told him I was coming here, it was like, Oh, this Nazi area. <laughs> and as a taxi driver, he's like, he knows every street in London. I'm like, where am I going? <laughs> but it's actually a very nice place. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but no, I, I always wonder, man, I'm, I'm so scared to have kids. Like, I'm, it is. It's like, scary. I mean, Allah is it, may Allah, maybe someday, like, let's find a way first. But um, <laughs> I'm scared to have kids. I don't know, like, I really want my kids to have that out of culture in them. But like, growing up here, like, it's honestly a 50 50 i mean maybe not in london in london yeah. you, you get that but just in general growing up in canada it's like yeah. it's 50 50 i see Alat shaking his head Alat has kids so he, he, he probably he shares that yeah <laughs> <laughs> like you don't you just like it's it's scary because you don't know how how attached to their culture they're yeah. gonna be right yeah. so it's like you're you're flipping a coin and, and hoping for the best but i really want my kids to be out of um but not only that the problem is, is parents don't know how to discipline these kids in this time can you imagine i'm working in the kindergarten room and i had a parent come up to me and say maya please talk to my daughter she plays on the ipad all day I'm like, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <laughs> you want me to tell your daughter who's at home that i cannot <laughs> tell her to stop i was like what's gonna happen if you take the ipad away yeah she's gonna cry i'm like oh my god I cried a lot when I was a little kid. <laughs> yeah. My dad would take that Sega away yeah. from me. Oh, <laughs> you know literally. Sega, right? Oh, yeah. Like, okay. <laughs> I was like, okay, well, I'm a millennial here. No, no, we don't. Know. But, you know, like my dad would just take that away and I'd cry. But, like, I got over it. I would play with a teddy bear later yeah. on. Like, I was like, why are these parents so scared of their yeah, children? Yeah. And, like, raise them. Call us. Like, mm -hmm. tell them no. Mm -hmm. And I find that parents don't know how to do that anymore. Yeah. And it's kind of scary. Like, I... I have so much respect till this day to my dad that I'm still scared to, like, I've never sworn in front of my parents. 
I don't say don't worry to my dad, but sometimes imagine when you tell your dad, don't worry, Baba. Shuel, kill me, don't worry. Shuel. <laughs> I don't like this word. Don't worry. I worry. I worry. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Right? No, no, no. I, I share that same sense. Like, I'm very, like, um, with, with my dad too. Like, like the, there's, a, there's a sense of, like, there's always that respect. Yeah. Yeah. But man, kids nowadays are wild yeah i've yeah, seen i've seen so yeah. many kids disrespect their parents it's, yeah. it's so bad like you don't yeah. know honestly I, i'm gonna a shout out to teachers they don't get paid enough to do what they do especially right now especially principals man i've seen things in the school and it's pretty scary it's pretty scary but alhamdulillah <laughs> it's funny that you mentioned that actually because my sister's a teacher and mm-hmm. she teaches like grade three and she's always talking about how the kids are just yeah she she says Teachers will never tell you this, but teachers do pick favorites. Yeah, <laughs> do, yeah. do you agree with that? Yeah, yeah I definitely pick favorites. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, it's not I a thing. I love all of them 100%, but, but there's, there's always that, that one. one. And there's okay. always, the way you said, the parents who are, just feel like that they can message you at 8 p.m. about their kids and, you know, ask you questions. And it's like yeah. a lot of these, like these parents just kind of go overboard like that. And Yeah. And they, some parents don't really care to. They'll defend their child when their child is in the wrong, yeah. too. So it's yes. like... Yeah. I just feel bad for all the teachers, the EAs, with what's going on. Like, especially for that we're coming into a recession at this point. It's just like it's mm-hmm. just, it's hard to be a teacher already enough, and then having kids, you know. And that's why with that topic of kids doing social media, I just don't agree with yeah, it yeah, because yeah. they have no social. Yeah. Uh, like they. There's, there's no future for them if they're going to decide to do that at a young age. 100%. Do you understand? 100%. And I think I think it's also, like, if, if you think about the school system here versus the school system back home. Oh, yeah. And how teachers treat, you know, students yeah. there and here. Like, I feel like here, they just give the student so much power over the, the, the teacher. Yeah, um, not just the teachers. I'm, we're talking about parents. Honestly. And that's why he's saying he's scared to have exactly, kids. Exactly, yeah. And, and like, so the, the student just gets into that mindset that also takes home too. And then, like, is, is more open to speaking in their parents. They, to they their think parents. they're the center of the world. They Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. We're, yeah, anyway, back home, I remember, like, I remember going to school and not like, I'm not trying to say that our school systems are, are bad, but like, I, I think our... I learned a lot more back home than I did in in school here, but they were like we used to get hit sometimes by teachers. You know what I mean? But it's it's literally like I sometimes. Feel, <laughs> I honestly think it it was. Wait, you went to school back home? I did. Oh, fall. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so let's hear about this. So fall, yeah. <laughs> I did go to school back Where's home. Where's back and, home? And you? Well, UAE. That's where I grew oh, up. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's where uh, actually. Uh, like I, I, I kind was, of. Yeah. I was born. I was there until I was seven. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't remember much. Bob's. But yeah, and and I, <laughs> I, I think a Just part came of off the boat actually. Last <laughs> week. <laughs> <laughs> but I think a part of that is that when, when you're in school, not only are you learning the, the content or the material that that is being brought to you in the books and whatnot, but you're also learning the respect that you're supposed to give to the elder people, like to 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 this teacher or to to whoever is older um, right. than you. So. I feel like that like is the differentiating factor between here and and back home, especially in schools. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I jumped in. I don't know. So are you are you gonna are you gonna take your kids back home? Very interesting question. I don't know. I don't think so. A lot no? of people. A lot of people so. want to take their kids back home right now because of what's happening here. What's Wait. happening here? I don't know if we should get into it. I don't want to get into certain, it. But certain things you being know, pushed by teachers. We know what we're talking about here. And but it's I just, mean, it's is it not world. happening all over the world, though? It is. It is. But that's the thing. Oh, but it's not in the that's a, the people, but yeah, wouldn't man, the solution for that kind of be like Islamic schools it's or private schools? Not, not to that extent, obviously. I mean, it's not being taught and stuff in schools that, that's what i'm saying right it's but not projected it's as still much but there it's still definitely there come to the of the day and then now i'm just like i know no, our no, producer no. said no 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 <laughs> how to cancel two creators at once <laughs> <laughs> now listen uh, uh all respect to all opinions yeah 
<laughs> Anyways, uh, but like, so Maya, what you been up to? <laughs> best. <laughs> Maya, what was the best moment for you since you started the social media journey? I think I'm I'm sure there's a lot, but like does is there one that stands out? Um I, th- I for I think it's like moments. Mm-hmm. The moments is meeting other creators on social media. I don't know if that makes any sense. Well, if you continue, maybe I will. <laughs> like it's it's really cool to see a lot of creators when I first started that they were at a certain point. Mm. And I'm growing and following that and I'm meeting them Mm -hmm. Um, because there's some creators that are so down to earth and Mm -hmm. it was seriously an honor to meet a lot of them. Are you talking about a solid deaf character? Yes. (laughs) (laughs) These guys right now, alhamdulillah, it's such an honor (laughs) to have you You know, it's funny, we're both in the same city and I feel like this is the first interaction between It's so sad, actually. (laughs) We live in the same city, we never see each other. Yeah, I blame you for that. Yeah, Yeah, me too. And then the (laughs) other moment is just... Um, this is the biggest moment for me is, um, making, turning people's day around. I have a lot of people, I've had people that are sick in the hospital that watch my videos. Um, and they would message me saying, you know, my, my dad watched your videos all the time before he passed oh. or, you know, you, you help my mom get through this illness or you know uh kids learning how to be through me that's insane for me those are big milestones for me and it makes me happy to know that i'm making people's day with these types of videos and they're remembering their parents through Mm. my videos like some people message me saying like you make me remember my dad like their dad like you know what i mean like that's so cool to know that my character is doing that for them yeah, or their yeah. mom, Alayd Hamon, or their grandparents, right? Let's do an awe on three. One, two, three. Oh, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just giving you a, like a very sentimental moment. Yes, <laughs> that, was a really, that was a really good question. We should uh, <laughs> Omar, I'm, I'm proud of you. you one of the main things, things I'm still thinking about is when, <laughs> <laughs> when you mentioned that you filmed. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. So like, oh. you're telling me that the funny videos that you filmed were filmed like early in the morning, 7 a.m. Like, how do you, how Most are you able, videos, yes. how are you able to wake up and just still be like half asleep and be like, yalla, balla, your <laughs> balla. smack your face a bit. Like that seems we'll like a 3, 4 p.m. kind of activity. <laughs> <laughs> no, when it hits 3, 4 p.m., you can't catch me doing a video for the life of me. <laughs> what, what are you doing at 7 a.m., Omar? Well, uh, that's when I had a full-time like, job. I'm, I'm halfway through my dream. I had to. I had mm-hmm. to do it at that time. What where else am I gonna yeah. do? You gotta grind. No, I, I respect that. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, like because by I the time you. I came home, there was no. I was exhausted. That's true. There was no way you could see me doing any harakets. So, like there's <laughs> no movements happening from me. So Just like plop on the couch. So at some point, 7 a.m., you were there with like red lipstick all over your and, and I'm like, seven a.m. <laughs> yeah. 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 I I really want to know when did Bala start. A long time ago, I just did it as a joke. I was like, Bella in the video. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, do that again. Like I, 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 one more. Bella. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of does a vibration when I. Bella. <laughs> <laughs> and I did it once, and then people were like, Bella, oh my God, that's so funny. And then yeah. I did it again, and then I'm like, what the heck? And it then works. I did it again yeah. and again. Now people are sending it. In WhatsApp groups, there's as a, a sticker. As a sticker, as a sticker. You became a sticker. I became a sticker. That's, that's like the epitome I'm, of like all time success. I'm and you know, you know, all the sticker. aunties or uh, the antos are sending it back oh, and forth. I, I guess I'm in a lot of group chats. So would would like, you become a cool sticker? Or just know, just know you made it. You've actually made it. You like, made it. Have yeah. you noticed like a difference between like how people back home treat you? Because like us living in Canada, when you go back home, even if you're a nobody here, they're gonna treat you like a celebrity. Right. So you are kind of like an influencer going back home. Did you notice any difference there kind of visiting and, and how the dynamics are? Yeah, definitely. There is like people like it, it is weird when you're in another country and you're getting stopped that much. It's yeah. like it's a different feeling. I, like, I, I, I feel don't... like they value influencers a lot more there. Is that true? They do. Like I yeah. ended up on. That's another thing. Like when we were saying like mild, like these moments, yeah. like for me, when I went to do a video in um, Al Jadid. 
Mm. I went to the studio there and it was like, whoa, this is crazy. Like mm-hmm. they were doing my hair, my makeup. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> I was like, this is the best. Sat and did the interview. Uh, that treatment. was scary. That was so scary <laughs> doing the interview. I'm like, oh my God. Because my Arabi is not my first language, right? Like yeah. this is my second. Yeah. So And you had to speak in it. And I have to be brave. Mm. I, I, I honestly, if I screw up, mm. let it be. So Laugh yeah. about it. I don't care. Yeah. At least I'm trying, honestly. And that's how I look at it. Like there's sometimes I've said words. And my dad would come home. He goes, "Hi, Bihko. This is what you say." Like, <laughs> oh I was like, "What?" He goes, "Hi, Ulti, I'll kill me wrong." I was like, "Oh my god!" Like, I don't know, whatever. I, I just keep hilarious. it. You know, that, like we living in in, in in diaspora, like living in North America as Arabs, it's like one, your dialect is like a mix of like fifty billion dialects. Yeah, because yeah. You, you know Palestinians, 100%. you know, you know Libyans, you know Lebanese people, because so you're, you're, it all gets like mixed up. But like for me, I would say like, in a way like. Arabi is my second language in a way too, because I grew up here for the most part, right? So it's like, yeah. man, so many people go through that struggle. Yeah, hundred percent. And like, you're gonna say words wrong sometimes, but you just gotta brush it off and, and just yeah, and keep taking it day by day and just keep like yeah. my my Arabi ever since I joined Asada has gone so much better. Yeah, it's because I'm just speaking a lot more. So it's like if if at any point in time you you want to improve your Arabi, it's literally it's just a matter of building up the confidence to actually. Yeah. Try, it. try, and don't be afraid if you know you're gonna say some some stupid stuff and people are gonna make fun of you, but it's fine. Yeah, I, I I I like to be very. بالعربي بالعربي. هنحكي هلا عربي. يلا خلاص يلا. أحب أحكي بالعربي وأنا بغلبت ما ليش لأنه بعدين العالم بيحسوا إنه ما ليش إذا هني غلبتوا كمان. So there you go. Okay, stop. It's always so difficult because like we don't realize how many English words we throw in when we're speaking Arabic. So yeah. when you're when That's you're back home weird. and you're like explaining to your uncle something, yeah, and, and you realize like you can't English. you can't just do that. You can't yeah. throw in these English words. So like I, I find myself sometimes I just like freeze for a sec because I'm just like looking for this one word because it's just like one word here, one word there. Dude, that pause is the worst because oh, you're thinking like, I'm like thinking like yeah. 50 billion different words that I can <laughs> like I don't know what to say. But then my favorite is when you mix the Arabic and Lizi. Like when you go like oh like. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, I'm kennising. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kennising. It's, 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 no, it's a snow. It's a, what's it? Thalijing? It's, yeah, thalijing. <laughs> <laughs> Is that ink to anything? It yeah. just works out. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's funny, but it's okay to make mistakes. And yeah. honestly, like, I was on a live Al Jadid episode. It was live. But my second interview at the, um, it was, what was it called? News TV or something like that. Was uh, it that was MTV the worst? Lebanon? Huh? Is that I was on MTV yeah. too. Um, they were doing like a Lebanon mm. like Hello episodes and and showing parts of Lebanon, which was yeah. really cool yeah. to experience that with them. But news TV, it's Arabia News TV. That oh, was, I've seen that. Yeah, I've seen it was that. like a very short interview because one, I was late going there because what happened was the mm. Kahraba went out. <laughs> I swear to God, no, couldn't. Mid interview, like, not just the Kahra, but like the the LTE 5G was oh gone. Oh my god! Well, welcome to Lebanon. Yeah, well, <laughs> literally, it was one of those situations. Like, welcome to Lebanon. Oh my so, god! So, I had my own car. I drive in Lebanon because I like to be free. Okay. <laughs> so when Smart. I, they asked if they wanted to send a text. I was like, no, no, I'm so like, I was in the Raushi. I was about ten minutes away from where the location was. Yeah. And I checked the night before. I didn't obviously keep the GPS on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I turned off the app, whatever, minding my own business. And then I go to leave. I get in the car and I'm like, why isn't this working? Holy crap. And I had I had enough time to be there early, right? And I'm like, oh my God, I don't know what. So I started driving. I don't know where the heck I'm going <laughs> to the point where then I found signal. And it was down. Like it was all over the news yeah, about yeah. it. Like everybody knew, yeah. And then I get there and I'm late. I'm sweating. Mm. It, it was terrible. I ran upstairs and the guy's like, you're late. And I was like, I don't like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I don't know what to tell you, man. I'm not from here. Like, so I went in there. He's like, do not look at the TV down like below. Yeah. Only look at the camera. I'm like, but you can see me like there's a full screen at the bottom. How do you not look at my, I want to look at myself to see what the heck I yeah. look like and what am I saying? But the problem is, I told the host, do not speak to me in Fusha. Mm. I won't understand a word you're going to say to me. Don't tell me he started speaking Fusha. She started to speak oh to me in Fusha, my guys. God. And the whole time I'm like, uh, <laughs> Can you repeat that, please? Can you repeat? I, I, Was that live? At one point, I think I said 
the wrong answer to a question. Yeah. Because I'm like, but the <laughs> I just want to leave. And she apologized after she goes, Maya, you did tell me and I forgot. But she knew she figured it out on the last question, but it was too late. Oh my god. And because I was late, I only had a short time to do the interview. Oh. So she wants to bring me back. Mm. They're actually located in Dubai, mm. but they're connected in Lebanon somehow. Yeah. So the new welcome to Lebanon, bro. I what? remember what I I've been to Lebanon once, like ever. So I've I've been twice, but like one in like recent memory, and that like uh, the 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 outages, the power outages. Yeah, I didn't like I didn't I've never lived there. Like I didn't know it was a thing. But man, first of all, Lebanon's beautiful. It is beautiful. One, yeah. but two, I rem- I like have this very distinct memory where like we were there for my cousin's wedding. We were at like my Jiddah's house in uh, somewhere in Lebanon, um, and we're chilling. Literally, yeah. All you see, pew, everything turns off. My first experience, like ish, ish, I'm busy. Get your bashes on. Be storm, barra. Like, welcome what's to happening? Lebanon. Welcome to Lebanon. <laughs> my uh, my my mom is like, oh, it's la barra. Thick as That's what they say. Thick as sea. Thick as sea. Yeah. Is it what? Yeah, <laughs> literally. But I know. But they're all. Wait, what does that mean? <laughs> it's bro. It's like a, a switch. It's a breaker. It's a breaker. For for what? When it goes out, like you, you can oh, sometimes. Oh, I see. I like see, you switch like on. the ge- like to the local generator. The generator. Okay, so it brings that, in electricity. So it brings yeah, electricity. So I'm going out and like this is like nighttime and I'm hearing dogs like barking. I was like much younger at this point. I'm like, bro, like this is the scariest thing of my life. I'm like <laughs> walking out. I'm like, okay, I'm in this like. Like country I've never been to before, like that I can remember. And I'm walking out and I'm hearing like these dogs barking because there's a lot of stray dogs there, right? Right. Mm. And you know me. A lot to, more now. Yeah, me used to London, Ontario life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like going out running, I'm like trying to figure this out, switch it, run back in. Yeah, but yeah. welcome to Lebanon. It's a very beautiful place, and I, I think we need a Lebanon trip. I really do. Oh man. Man. You guys would love place. it. Alamu ya my Hussein. It's been an absolute pleasure. Honestly, though. Thank uh, you for having me. Well, like, guys, honestly, I'm proud of you guys as well. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I've known you guys for a long time. I remember when they first started, and your group has changed significantly, yeah. but you guys have made it, like, the best group ever. And Aww. I love that you guys all have a great relationship, and you're representing London, Ontario. We're representing. We're representing. Right. Yeah, it's so cool, like, you know, to... It's to show people like, yeah, we went to school and we're also being entrepreneurs and, you know, it's hard work. And this is like, I hope that people are listening to this conversation, that they learn a lot from us and uh, keep doing what you guys are doing. Stay out of trouble. No promises. (laughs) (laughs) All on three. One, two, three. Oh, Oh. (laughs) (laughs) my asset. Thank you so, so, so much. Thank you. I'm proud of you guys. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. (laughs) Thank Follow us, Haladevki, guys. Thank you all for tuning in, <laughs> watching, and subscribing, and uh, doing what you're doing. Uh, we appreciate you. Ramadan Mubarak al Jamia. We love you all. My Hassan, thank you for, for being with us. Love you guys. Peace. <laughs>